glam season is here and we are not putting any heat in our curls this time. I am about to show y'all how. Hello YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, welcome. Glam season, it is finally upon us and I'm so excited. This year I have made a huge commitment to myself and to you all that I refuse to put any heat in my hair. No blow drying, no flat ironing, nothing at all. I want to start 2020 without any regrets and I'm gonna show y'all how I'm about to do this and give you some inspiration so that you can feel like you can go through the holiday season heat free as well. I am giving you super simple, easy, but heat free looks that will be amazing this holiday season. So yeah, let's jump straight on in. Okay, so right now my hair is like dry 100%. This is like day three hair. It's pretty frizzy and a little bit crazy, pretty big. But this is like my basic everyday kind of side part swoop in the front. So for this first look, I'm basically gonna keep this hairstyle going on, but I'm just gonna add some bobby pins right here to give us a little bit more sleekness, a little bit of glitz, a little bit of glam, and switch it up. So first I'm just gonna start by kind of spraying down my edges and adding a little bit of gel. Today I'm using the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. I love that gel. It is super effective in getting to slick down your hair and it also gives a little bit of shine, which I love. And now I'm just using a brush over it to kind of smooth the area out with the gel in there. And the best part about this look is that we're almost done already. So now I'm just gonna grab some roller pins, which I bought from my local pharmacy. And these are just like larger, more heavy duty type bobby pins. I went for like a bronzy, goldish color so we could get a little bit, you know, fun, glitzy. I'm applying them really, really close together so we can get more of a dramatic effect. And that is it for this first one. Adding this little bit of color here, I feel like just gives it a little bit of pizzazz. It also makes this slick part a little bit more dramatic. So it's just looking like snatched, you know? Like a more snatched version of my everyday hairstyle. Another thing I love about this hairstyle is that it is super, super comfortable, super quick, super easy, and cheap. All right, on to the next one. All right, so for this next look, I will be taking another one of my everyday hairstyles and making it more fancy and more holiday appropriate. I feel like you can kind of take any kind of hairstyle and just make it a little bit more slick, a little bit more shiny, and that like honestly makes all the difference. So I am gonna be doing a little pineapple. So usually my pineapple is kind of done very messy, it's just shoop, poof, up at the top, done, no worries. But what I'm gonna do to make this a little bit more holiday appropriate is really slick down all of my edges. So I'm basically just gonna go in with my DIY spray again, spraying around all the edges of my hair, and then going in with some Kinky Curly Curling Custard again, and brushing it all in. This is pretty much how I slick back my hair at all times. So you wet it, you gel it, you brush it, and it's sleek. For this one, you also don't want to forget to apply product to the back of your hair as well because since it'll be up in a ponytail, that part will be exposed. All right, and then to secure my pineapple, I still want it to be very loose because I want this to be full of volume and huge and large and in charge. And in order for that to happen, I need to use just a big clip and just wrap it around once. I'm not gonna tie it around multiple times. And so this is one of those thicker kind of hair ties. I picked this one up, I think, like at the end of the H&M cash register. They're super cheap, but they're amazing for thick, curly hair. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a little fringe as well. I think that's cute. Here is the look. It kind of gives us a little bit of like a little faux hawk kind of vibes. And then with us pulling down the middle here for a little fringe, I think this just looks so stinking cute. And it looks effortless, but almost kind of timeless. I'm feeling this with the black high neck as well. Mm. Yes, hunty, I love this. And on to the next one. Wow, we have some crazy hair going on here. Anyways, on to the next one. This one is going to be 
slightly more time consuming but still just as easy and doable as anything else so I'm basically gonna do like a little thingy thing down in the middle kind of thing you know you know so to start I'm gonna go ahead and create our little section here in the middle I'm just gonna use a comb to part that up all right, so since we have this all sectioned out for now, I'm just gonna pin away the rest of the hair so we can just have it out the way for the moment. All right, so again, I'm kind of just gonna go through the same sleeking process. So again, wetting it with my DIY spray, adding some gel, and then kind of just all brushing it through. All right, so now I'm gonna divvy this little section up into three sections here and secure them with a rubber band at the base and then kind of twist one into the other. I can show you better than I can tell you, so let me just go ahead and do it. One more time with this leaking process, I'm gonna spray gel and slick back the front of my hair and just pull it up back into a high poof. Easy enough and I feel like for this look you definitely need some dramatic edges so let's get in on that Ta -da! and that is it you guys I feel like these were super super easy to do but still kind of dramatically changed my look with each Style. I told you you don't need to put heat in your curls. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at LissaMarieXO so you can check out some other hairstyles because I will be putting a lot more on there as well. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, give your girl a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. I am judging you if you are just watching and not subscribed. And in the meantime, I'm gonna leave as usual a couple videos here for you to just keep on watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.